Hello everyone, welcome back, hope we're having a great day and we're all doing well. So by now I'm sure you guys are all aware about the brand new battle pass which is available in Operation Dread Factor and how it has some pieces of lore in it. Now we covered the entire battle pass the other day in a video and then we also made a separate video where we looked at all the pieces of lore information in that battle pass. And when it comes to pieces of lore information in a battle pass, this is one of the most diverse ones we've had. Usually a lot of the information focuses on a single squad and I was expecting a lot of this information to focus on the Red Hammer squad, but in this battle pass we hear from Wolfguard operators, ghost eyes operators, viper strike operators, night haven operators and red hammer operators. And the pieces of information we get from the ghost eyes operators are quite small but it confirms something quite major. And that is the fact that one of the ghost eyes operators nook is actually on leave right now and this seems to be a direct consequence of the little comic book between her and Grimm which resulted in Grimm tracking her to her private home and basically threatening to reveal her information and identity to the world. Now we know that the secret identity of nook is very important to the point where her records are actually being sealed by NATO, and it's said that if that does get out there, it can be a threat to national security. And I really do wonder if this decision was by Nook herself, or this was something that Kavera ordered her to do. But that means with Team Rainbow as a whole, not just looking at the individual squads, we have now multiple operators who are out of service. We have Ash who is in a coma, we now have Nook who is on leave because of the situation with Grimm. Thermite, although it does seem like he is recovering, I assume is still healing, and won't be getting his hands dirty like he was before, at least for not a little while. And Sledge, Sophia and Kavera were injured in the blast as well, to the extent we don't really know for those three. I assume Kavera is doing okay considering we did hear from her in this battle pass, and we do know that Sledge was injured when Mike Maestro said that in the previous battle pass, and the condition of Zofia we do not know yet. And then add on top of that the fact that many operators left Team Rainbow to join Nighthaven, the number of mainline operatives in Team Rainbow is kind of dwindling as the seasons go on, so our operators are definitely in quite a harsh situation. I feel like there's a really interesting way that we can interpret what happened here. Although it doesn't explicitly say it, it can be assumed that the reason why Nook is in hiding isn't because Grimm threatened her, it's because he maybe went to the next level and actually revealed her information. Let's look Look at the facts we know before. Nook infiltrated Nighthaven. This clearly annoyed Nighthaven, and they sent Grimm to track her down. Grimm managed to find many leads, which eventually led him to Nook in her house and managed to catch her off guard. They started talking quite civil, but it did end up in a fight. However, Grimm claimed he wasn't there to kill Nook, rather send her a message that if Rainbow crosses Nighthaven again, he'll expose all of her secret information. Then in the next season cinematic, we see Ghost Eyes crossing Nighthaven. They go to Nighthaven's base, they confront Callie on the runway, and they tell her to stay out of the business of what they're going to do, which will eventually lead to Rainbow facing off against Deimos, but at this time we didn't know who Deimos was. But the roles by Grimm were quite clear and set in place. If Rainbow crosses Nighthaven again, he'll expose Nook's information. And Rainbow crossed Nighthaven again. And now we are suddenly learning that Nook is not only on leave, but Cav does not even want to elaborate on why she is on leave, and she won't even tell fellow Ghost Eyes operator Maverick. And just like what Osa said in this battle pass as well, Callie isn't one to forget. When they took Callie by surprise, she wasn't happy about that. So honestly, is it even that far-fetched to assume now that Nook's information is out there and Nighthaven did leak it? I mean, they did go to her house and tell her, listen, if Rainbow does this again, we're exposing you. And then Rainbow went and done it again. Again, Nighthaven may have not leaked the information and the reason why Nook is on leave is purely because she's worried about that information being leaked. And she might feel a bit defeated that her safe haven was kind of infiltrated by Grimm. She may not be able to do gardening again without having to look over her shoulder. But to me, I think they purposely not answered this question so we can theorize and I do think they want us to theorize that did Nighthaven actually leak Nook's information? I mean, we do know what her real name is and we do kind of know what she looks like based on concept art, but a lot of her character is still shrouded in a lot of mystery. So although maybe potentially in universe this information is now out there, for us as the readers, I'll say readers, I don't know, viewers, that is still going to be withheld from us for the time being. But there's also the possibility that Nighthaven were just bluffing in this situation and they wouldn't expect Rainbow to cross them again. I mean, think of the consequences Nighthaven would have if they actually did reveal Nook's information. Again, her identity is meant to be that secret that is held in NATO records. I feel like Nighthaven would be picking an even bigger enemy than Deimos if they'd done this, but I really don't think that this story arc is going to end here. I definitely think we're going to see more. Maybe in the future if Rainbow and Nighthaven start working together again, Grimm and Nook will sort of put aside their differences for like a sort of like team up. Maybe it was like a comic or even an animation. I think that'd be a really cool dynamic. I'm always
always a sucker for characters who were started off as enemies and could kind of put aside their differences for the common good but still kind of hate each other a little bit at the end of the day but don't want to see harm brought to the other one. I really like stories like that and I feel like they could do that with like Grim and Nook or they could do it with like Ash and Callie. But yeah, if us as the viewers slash readers, again, I don't really know what to call us, lore enjoyers? I don't really know what to call the audience. Okay, audience, I'll say audience. I definitely think us as the audience will learn Nook's identity and will probably even get like an in-game headgear and proper face reveal at some point. She's too popular of a character, I think, just to leave as that mysterious character. I know a lot of people like her for that reason, but at the end of the day, if they're going to branch off and make more stories about these operators and Nook is as popular as she is, I definitely think it's going to be inevitable to get her identity revealed at one point. So it makes sense rather than just saying, oh, hello, I am Nook and this is me. This is what I look like. There's an entire story arc behind it. There's consequences behind it. There's reasons why it happened. I think that's a lot better way of then just randomly revealing an operator's face with not really any explanation. Again, I could just be looking too far into it and the reason why Nook is on leave is because she got threatened, not because the information actually got out there. But I feel like Nighthaven aren't one to bluff and when they did say if Rainbow crosses them again that they'll do it, that they probably did do it. But as the lore continues to progress, everything which I kind of theorize in my head is kind of getting disproven. I always thought that the relationships between operators would bring them together and I still think that's a chance but as we go on there's always just more and more bridges being burned which I feel are going to be quite hard to build back again but that's how it is people can be difficult I kind of like that a lot of these operators aren't on good terms with each other it makes it that more believable that they aren't working together Callie hates Ash Grim and Nook aren't friends Thatcher sees Smoke as a backstabber Pulse and Habana broke up Ella and Zofia had their falling out I honestly think like one of the only relationships between Nighthaven and Rainbow which are probably still intact and on good terms is Aruni and Thermite. I absolutely love their relationship, not like as lovers, like as friends. I think they just seem really good friends and I just love them both as characters. But yeah, hopefully we do learn more about Nook in the future. Again, she's too much of a pivotal character for them to ignore. I mean, it's clear that Ubisoft love Nook. They give her a battle pass skin every second battle pass when some operators I don't even think have ever had one. But yeah, the lore of this battle pass has been really interesting and has honestly left way more questions and answers, which is always a good thing when you make theories videos. That's one of the reasons I love Rainbow Six lore. Everything isn't answered instantly. We have to wait months at a time to learn more and it just makes the story feel more real and it allows me to be more invested rather than just like binge watching a Netflix show overnight. Some of these questions can take years to answer and it keeps many people like myself invested in the story for a long time. So I'm gonna be honest with you all, what do you think the situation Nook is in right now? Do you think Nighthaven did reveal her information and that's why she is on leave or do you think the reason she is on leave is just a step behind and it's because she got threatened? Both are valid reasons reasons to go and leave but one of them I think has much more of a deeper implication if it is true but I feel like Rainbow already have their hands full right now to then start focusing on Nighthaven again because they revealed Nook's information. That may be something that Nook does on her own and that might be why she is on leave at Rainbow. Maybe she's gonna go on her own secret mission off the records and hey maybe we could get an entire spin-off single player Rainbow Six game where you play as Nook. I think that'd be pretty cool just saying. But yes please do let me your thoughts in the comment section below and drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned for more Rainbow Six Siege lore content and I'm going to keep looking into this battle pass and see if there's any pieces of more information we can try and pin together and hopefully base a theory off it. Have an incredible rest of your day guys. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.